Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Peanut Butter Gamer. Ready, set, go. Denton, Texas, the mid-2000s, an incredibly buff, or at least that's what he told me over Skype, teenager named Austin Hargrave spends a great deal of his childhood making comedic skits and videos with his friends. Around 2006 or so, they discover a small website called YouTube, which Austin initially viewed as simply another platform to easily upload their content. However, after his friends left for college, Austin, who was slightly younger, decided to make his own solo channel called Peanut Butter Gamer in January of 2009 to continue creating skits. And I'm sure many of you are wondering, so here it is. The name Peanut Butter Gamer came from one of Austin's old online aliases, Jiffy. During this time, his friends would often call him Jiffy Peanut Butter, and from that point on, Austin was just associated with peanut spread, which is a sentence I did not expect to be saying today. Anyway, the Peanut Butter Gamer channel was one of Austin's first major solo projects, and he had been a fan of games ever since his childhood. He'd grown up playing titles like Contra 3, Final Fight 2, and Kirby Superstar with his brother, but didn't become infatuated with the medium until discovering Super Mario 64 in 1996. And the Peanut Butter Gamer channel was created mainly as a way for Austin to talk about his feelings on games. Though the style of his early videos was similar to shows like The Angry Video Game Nerd and Screw Attack, Austin wasn't actually familiar with these content creators when he made Peanut Butter Gamer, instead taking inspiration mostly from the G4 skit comedy and review show X-Play. Unfortunately, a lot of the earliest content on Peanut Butter Gamer has since been taken down for one reason or another, and the earliest video still live as of the making of this video was from October of 2000. As PBG kept making videos, he was able to further develop a style of his own. Though others call what he does reviews, Austin has never felt that this is entirely accurate. He describes the Peanut Butter Gamer show as more of a scripted Let's Play series, stating that the show is mainly just him messing around with a game. And aside from these main videos, Peanut Butter Gamer also features top tens about various subjects, ranging from annoying things in gaming to hidden alien easter eggs and much more. Other early shows included The G-Files, a show about weird things in gaming, and To Kill an Avatar, a series about killing killing your favorite video game characters. Austin no longer makes these shows as he feels they didn't really fit the direction of his channel as it was moving forward. However, remnants of these shows can still be found in more recent PBG episodes, but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Eventually, Austin was convinced to start submitting his content to be featured on ScrewAttack.com, whereupon his video was put on the front page of the site, which was a pretty big deal for gaming YouTubers back then. On top of bringing him new viewership, Austin's introduction to ScrewAttack also led him to discover other gaming content creators like him, and one of these content creators creators was a YouTuber by the name of John Jafari, or JonTron. The pair became fast friends, eventually teaming up in late 2010 to create a new banner for their content known as NormalBoots.com. Apparently that was the least terrible name the two could come up with. I guess you could say it was... Really? Re really? We're doing this? Alright. I guess you could say it was... Normal. Ugh. Lee, come on, man. I hired you to write good scripts. Good scripts! Normal Boots eventually grew into a powerful force in the YouTube gaming scene, now boasting creators like The Completionist, Did You Know Gaming, and Pro Jared, just to name a few. As the years went on, Austin's viewership grew pretty steadily, but it wasn't until 2012 where things really began to take off. During this time, Austin noticed that every new video of his was averaging around 100,000 views. This bump in popularity eventually gave Austin the motivation he needed to drop out of college and pursue Peanut Butter Gamer full time. With YouTube now his main focus, Austin began covering a wider variety of odd and slightly obscure games like the Putt-Putt franchise and My Sims. And many viewers now heavily associate these games with Austin's content. But when most people think Peanut Butter Gamer, the first thing that springs to their mind is The Legend of Zelda, which became one of PBG's mainstays thanks to a tradition he began in 2012 known as Zelda Month, in which he would dedicate the entire month of November to making content all about his favorite video game franchise. It's Zelda. And while Zelda Month was created by and is most heavily associated with Peanut Butter Gamer, its popularity has led it to ripple outward across the internet, with a wealth of YouTubers, artists, musicians, and even cooks taking part to honor Nintendo's classic fantasy franchise. Heck, there are probably some people who celebrate Zelda Month with absolutely no knowledge of who Peanut Butter Gamer even is. Over the years, Peanut Butter Gamer has grown from a small channel of one man to an entire team of people creating content. In 2010, Austin started a Let's Play channel called PBG Gameplay, where he's played everything from Wind Waker and Fallout 3 to The Elder Scrolls and... What is even happening?! WHAT'S EVEN GOING ON RIGHT NOW?! Uh, yeah that. But beyond just solo Let's Plays, PBG Gameplay also features multiple collaborative shows, chief among them the Hardcore series. In this show, Austin and a handful of friends take on hardcore survival modes in games like Minecraft, Terraria, and DayZ. Hardcore has become an incredibly popular series, which Austin credits to the fact that anything can happen to any of the players at any time, leading to some incredibly engaging, funny, and even suspenseful moments. A few years after launching PBG Gameplay, Austin sought out the help of his friend and fellow YouTuber Jeff, or 
Space Hamster, hiring him as an editor for the channel. However, in 2015, Austin and Jeff launched a new collaborative Let's Play show called PB and Jeff. And as a result of this, Austin decided to hire a couple more friends to help out. In early 2016, Todd from Rated S Games was brought on board to help produce and edit videos on both the main PBG channel and on PBG gameplay. And then in mid-2016, Jack from Super Plaid 64 was also brought on board to help edit PBG gameplay. Peanut Butter Gamer is perhaps one of the most unique gaming channels in all of YouTube. From its surreal humor to its refreshingly family-friendly nature, Peanut Butter Gamer easily stands out amongst the wealth of other scripted gaming shows on YouTube, as evidenced by his 1.6 million subscriber count. Whether he's hacking Super Mario 64, professing his love of Arthur, or doing whatever this is... All the ladies tell me, go try the whip, so I go and go try the whip. It's always done with a silliness and charm that is just fun. And that's exactly what Peanut Butter Gamer is, a man who is simply doing what he loves and having an absolute blast while doing it. And that is something that all YouTubers should aspire to be. Thanks for watching, guys. DFTBA. Hey everybody, I just want to give a big thanks to Ryder for doing this. It's really cool of him. If you're coming here from my Twitter page or one of my YouTube videos or whatever, make sure you show him some love in the comments and check out his other stuff while you're at it. And if you want to see something that I've done, you can check out a video that's probably over here. I assume it's my Princess Maker 2 video. Uh, it was a weird, obscure game that I found. I had a lot of fun with that episode, so check that out if you like. And I'll leave this up to Ryder, or maybe he'll just cut me off here. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, buddy. Bye-bye. Drum solo!